Resounding statement. Colorado Springs residents voted overwhelmingly last night to make Yemi Mobilade the city's next mayor. He won the runoff election by nearly 19,000 votes, a 15% split between him and conservative heavyweight Wayne Williams. Today, I had the chance to talk with one on one with Yemi, and he and the city they prepare for this transition ahead. Okay, mayor elect. Mayor elect. How does it feel? It feels different and good. It hasn't sunk in yet. Not even a full day into his new title, Yemi Mobilade is still digesting his win in the runoff election. For now, he's running on two hours of sleep and Red Bull and looking back to a key gesture. As I was greeting friends and people who came to support, I looked at the corner of my eyes and there was Wade that surprised me and when when he came forward and we leaned in and he repeated what he said to me on the phone and said, um, you've run a good race, really proud of the campaign that you've run. Um, I care about this city and I meant what I said. I want to work with you and let me know if there's anything you need. And it was my opportunity to return in kind and let him know how much, um, even though there were moments of the race that were ugly, but how much I appreciate him running. And also what I was expressing was how much I appreciate his leadership in our community over the years. And that, that I would take him up on any opportunity for us to work together. Really? Yeah. Do you think he would be involved in your administration to any degree? Uh, not um, indirectly. First up, Mobilare says there will be an employee engagement survey, the transition, picking his chief of staff. I have narrowed this, um, my search from probably a list of seven to ten and having a conversation with my top three people. I'll be making that decision public on June 6th. He says in his first 100 days of taking office, he wants to establish his leadership values of accessibility and transparency. Aside from the colossal task of commanding a city for this man, an immigrant from Nigeria, living the American dream, he's soaking in this moment. What would the Yimmy today tell the blessing Mobilade at age 15? Hmm. What kind of, what kind of voice would you speak to that young man? Wow. Are you trying to make me cry? The reason why that touches a deep place is I, I, um, I was a late bloomer. I was unsure of myself. I um, didn't have a good relationship um, with my, my father. I was a misfit in my own family. I struggled. If you saw me 27 years ago when I first came to this country and saw what I was doing today, even the people that know me back then would say, no way. Um, I'm a different person. Um, I'm a product of this incredible experiment called the American Dream, and to whom much has been given, much has been required. So I'm committed to paying it forward. So if you talk to the Yemi before age 17 who was lost, I would say it's okay. Now, I also asked Mobilade if he plans on making Colorado Springs a sanctuary city to absorb the thousands of migrants at the border. He said, no, Colorado Springs is not poised for that. Yemi will be sworn into office June 6th. We'll see what he can do.